so welcome back to a uh, another edition of the backcountry diabetic all right so today I'm hiking uh, Mount Van Hovenberg it's about a uh, 4.4 mile round trip 2.2 to the top the sign said 740 ascent but that's just for the mountain the trail does go up and down a little bit. We go down to a great beaver dam. It's a great little scenic small hike before work. All right, so yeah, like you see, we're sitting at 85, uh, which is great for now. Um, I hit a low on the drive here. Um, and at 63 on that low. Um, but that's uh, my own fault. So I uh, last night I got home kind of late from work. Ended up eating some uh, food. And having to take some short-acting insulin. And uh, I woke up. It ended up everything was fine. I woke up with a sugar of 127. Um and took my long-lasting insulin as soon as I woke up. But because I still had some short-acting uh, insulin lingering in my body, and I didn't eat right away, which I should have eaten right away, but I didn't eat for about 45 minutes. Uh, that's the reason for the low. So, I mean, I had just eaten two egg sandwiches uh, probably around 50 carbs worth of English muffins because I knew I was going on this hike and I knew because of the short acting insulin lingering that I might go low but I probably should have eaten all that maybe half hour before I did so that's that's why I'm kind of you know hit the the 63 low on the drive here ended up just uh taking or drinking some a uh, little bit of orange juice just a little bit just to offset the uh the you know the carbs from the english muffins those would be coming in so i didn't want to drink a lot of orange juice because i didn't want to experience a high while on trail um, yeah it's a beautiful beautiful morning it should be awesome up there. The, uh, the it snowed on top of the peaks, like six inches of snow up there. Still some colors uh, lingering. It is so nice to see the sun. past three, four days, it's just been awful outside. A uh, huge storm moved in uh, in the middle of my last hike on my, what was supposed to be sunrise in the Catskills. All right, so we're sitting at 88. Um, I just arrived at the beaver dam, or beaver pond, I should say. Absolutely beautiful. Uh, that's the summit that we're going to today. Some awesome cliffs. Summit of Mount Van Hovenberg. I've never seen this pond so full of water. Usually it's very, very, very dry. And it's an absolutely huge beaver dam. So it starts over here. Right about there in the middle. And this entire way across is the beaver dam. And it is huge. I've never seen it so full of water. From all this recent rain, I guess. Pretty amazing. But yeah, sugar's sitting at one eight or at eighty-eight. Um, I'm kind of expecting my sugar to be around 120 or, or it should be higher by the time I get to the summit because my, uh, 
I'll finally be absorbing all the carbs from the, those English muffin sandwiches I ate. So we'll see. It's I got plenty of orange juice though to offset any lows. But I'm expecting it to go up as I climb because they I ate them now about an hour ago. So, <clears throat> but isn't that a view? It's all right. On my way up here. The view is going to be amazing of the snow-capped high peaks. I can't wait. There's another view of the beaver dam. And how it's... This part's like maybe a foot lower. And it's... The dam is holding back all this water. So there's actually... On beaver dam, there's multiple stages. So there's multiple dams. So there's actually another dam somewhere in there, and another one, and another one. They start with a very small one, flood a little bit, and then flood the next stage, and then build it bigger, and then bigger, and bigger. Pretty incredible uh, that they can do such a thing. The engineering of it is amazing. All right, just uh, past the Beaver Dam and uh, starting the ascent to the small mountain. It's like around 800 feet or so. Still some colors again. The deep yellows. I think these are... I don't... They're birch or beech trees. These ones are very young, so I can't really tell. But they hold on to their leaves much longer than, say, maple trees, which are the trees that produce those bright, bright reds. So I uh, just got top on top of this... Uh, Little flat spot after climbing pretty steep. Getting our uh, first views of some mountains here. You can see all the snow on them. It's pretty awesome up there. Pretty spectacular. Still a little bit of fall color down there. And the snow-capped peaks. There's multiple viewpoints in this mountain, but again, I am up here all alone. I'm absolutely loving this luck I'm having. But yeah, look at that snow. Wow. I honestly did not expect to see snow on this summit. Down here, it's awesome little bog. One day I want to canoe that. There's the highest peak in the state right there. Pretty incredible view right now. <laughs> Fun little fact about this mountain, Van Hovenberg. Uh, the Olympics were held up here, and on the back side of this mountain is where they did the Olympic bobsledding. And actually a guy from the town where I live uh, won silver at the last uh, Winter Olympics. Alright, just as I suspected. My sugar was going to go up a little bit because of the egg sandwiches I ate, because I ate two of them. 
Yeah, sitting at 116. Down at the beaver dam. The beaver pond is right there. I was probably standing about right there in the middle. Right down there, I kind of guessed it would be at like around 120, right? And we're sitting at 116, so... Very happy about that. Very happy about that. Feels great. Especially to, to kind of know what your body's going to do, you know? With the amount of exercise, the amount of food, the amount of insulin I've taken. It's taken me a very, very, very long time to understand the way my body works. And even then, it's still always a work in progress. <clears throat> never, never perfect, but today, doing pretty good. All right, back at the uh, beaver dam and the beaver pond here. Uh, sitting at 171. I was hoping for maybe a little lower than that. I was hoping maybe 150s, to be honest. Uh, but I do have actually, a, you know, like a mile and a half to hike yet. So, um, yeah, but that's all right. I might have to take a tiny bit of, I might, because like I said, my other job is labor intensive. Um, when I take insulin at that job, I tend to hit lows. So it's like I might just eat a very small salad or something for lunch instead of a sandwich. And then eat more once I'm on the job. And I'm moving around. So I don't have to take uh, insulin to uh, combat any uh, highs right now. But like I said, I still have a mile, mile and a half go, uh, to go. So it should be okay. What a beautiful little spot. It's amazing how big that beaver dam is. Huh. Oh. Uh, back to the car. So I uh, only dropped a couple points. I'm at 169. Um, I think that's actually okay, because I, I really only hiked four miles, four and a half miles. Um, so it's actually pretty good, I think, for the amount of eight earlier. Reflecting back, I probably should have um, maybe eaten one sandwich and just maybe a little juice with it. So I don't have this, because uh, sometimes, you know, bread and stuff like that, it takes a long time to metabolize. But uh, I think I should be good for work, though. Um, I don't think I'm going to cover myself any insulin because I said I'll be, uh, working pretty hard at work, so it'll probably continue to drop my sugar. Um, probably going to have, like, a little small salad with maybe some salmon or something. Um, treat myself to something. So, uh, yeah, with a little oil and vinegar, so practically no carbs, so... Have that before my other job, and uh, yeah, it's been a great day in the woods.